Rationalist Hamlet, written by Honor D.B. from Less Wrong, based on the works of William Shakespeare. Ghost by Drake Walker. Hamlet by Eniash Brodsky. Interloper abandoned this strange prank, which makes cruel use of the blindness of my grief and the good heart of my good friend Horatio. Or else, if thou hast true title to this beloved form, tell me, what drawing did I present to Hamlet King when six years old and scarce out of my sling? Twas a unicorn clad all in mail. What? Mark me! Father, I will. My hour is almost come, when I, to sulfurous and tormenting flames, must render up myself. Thou art in torment? I, as are all who die unshriven. Like every Dane, this is what I've been taught. Yet I did figure such caprice ill-suited to Almighty God. For all those who suffer unlooked-for deaths, unattended by God's chosen priests, to then be punished for the ill-ordering of the world. T'was not the world that killed me, nor accident of any kind. What? If thou didst ever thy dear father love, revenge his foul and most unnatural murder. Oh, God! My time grows ever shorter. Wilt thou hear my tale? No. What? My love for you does call me to avenge your death, but greater crimes have I heard told this night. If all those murdered go to hell, and others as well who would have confessed had they the time, if people who are, in balance, good, suffer grisly at the hands of God, then I defy God's plan. Good ghost, as one who dwells beyond the veil, you know things that we mortals can scarce conceive. Tell me, is there some filter or device, outside nature's ken but not outside her means, by which death itself may be escaped? You seek to evade hell? I seek to deny hell to everyone! And heaven too, for I suspect the heaven of our mad god might be a paltry thing. Next to the heaven I will make of earth, when I am its immortal king. I care not for these things. Death and hell hath stripped away all of my desires, save for revenge upon my murderer. Thou shalt not be avenged, save that thou swear, and I slay thine killer, so wilt thou vouchsafe to me the means by which I might slay death. He who killed you will join you in the pit, and then that's it. No further swelling of hell's ranks will I permit. Done. When my brother is slain, he who poured the poison in my ear, then will I pour into yours the precious truth, the making of the philosopher's stone. With this stone thou mayst procure a filter to render any man immune to death, and more, transmute base metal to gold, to fund the provision of this filter to all mankind. Truly, there is nothing beyond the dreaming of philosophy. Wait, the man whom I must kill? My uncle the king? Aye, that incestuous... That adulterate beast, with witchcraft of his wit, with traitorous gifts. Indeed, he has such gifts I near despair of killing him and yet succeeding to his throne. Twill be an awesome fight for awesome stakes. Hast thou advice? Since this was first published, Honor DB has now extended it to a complete ebook entitled A Will Most Incorrect to Heaven: The Tragedy of Prince Hamlet and the Philosopher's Stone. It is available for $3 at makefoil.com.